Alright, so yeah, just a quick talk about what's new in WordPress 4.7. Um, so it's the last major release of the year, so it's a good idea to update. Um, it's got several new improvements and bug fixes. Um, it will require a manual update being a uh, major release, um, unless you've got a managed hosting service when they're doing it for you. Um, just don't forget to take a backup before you update, just in case there's anything wrong with it. Can I ask a question of the audience? I have never taken a backup before a WordPress site. Well, it's kind of a confession. Me neither. <laughs> Does anyone else confess? I back up like every day. Oh. I've, seen, I've seen stuff go wrong. I have seen stuff go really wrong. Yeah, it's the latest yeah, one so where be. some of my sites go wrong because um, you have a priority for when you, when you hook things into a NIT. Yeah. And my priority, it works fine in the old WordPress, but it needs to be a sort of lower priority now, otherwise it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So my custom post types don't work, so I have to check unless I change the priority. Interesting. I don't really understand what priority should be for custom post types, but yeah, anyway, I have to change it. So. Yeah, so anyway, it's always good to be safe and sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's also more so, so if you go, I'll just quickly do this. Yeah. 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 So with every year, um, with new release of WordPress, um, you get a new default theme. So this year it's um, 2017, um, it's focused more on business websites, but as you can see, it's also quite good for blog still. How oh, much are you focusing more on the kind of business B2B kind of or the business kind of aspect of WordPress, do you think? Or rather than the blogging side of it? Well I think just because every year it's been a more of a blogging <coughs> thing. Right. So then maybe they're just switching up a bit this year. Okay. The last one's very good. Yeah. Um, so along with the theme and WordPress 4.7, uh, you now have the ability to insert start of uh, content into your theme. Um, so what do you mean by that? So when you have a new theme, um, you can, well with, with uh, 4.7 it's all about the customizer, which is, you'll see in a minute, there's a bit along the side where you, you can uh, change things on your website, like custom filter things like that. And part of the starter content is that you can preview um, your site with content. It's more for people who are just starting out, so they can get more of a feel for what it will look like and what sort of things they want to include. Potentially, yeah. Um, with a lot of um, premium themes and things like that, it all come with uh, content that you have to import into the theme. It can be a bit of a pain, um, whereas starter content, which they're introducing now into the customizer, is a lot more uh, easy. Um, so yeah, the theme comes with uh, lots of new features, widgets, all sorts of things like that. And uh, as always, it works in many languages on any device and um, works well for a wide range of users. So when it says it comes with a logo, um, is that a logo that you could replace with your own logo or whatever? Yes. Um, so what, what, what I'm saying here is that these are the things that includes that you can change. It's like extra features, things that you can use if you want to. Um, but I'll go into that a bit more. Um, so just an overview of some of the features, uh, ones at the beginning are kind of uh, quite standard and then the others are kind of like for developers, but I'll go into that a bit more in a sec. Um, so yeah, as I was saying about the customizer, um, it's just basically the initial setup of, of the theme making it easier and uh, it gives you a live preview so it's like non-destructive, um, so you can actually preview the content before you actually publish it. So it's quite nice, um, the customising how it's giving you a better workflow. <coughs> so here's an example of the uh, starter content. Should play a video there. There's a lovely video introducing you to the customizer and how you can use it. Um, maybe you'll see that on the slides after the talk. 
what it looks like is uh, it's basically as you saw in the beginning with the theme you have like the header image and then you have like different content throughout the page and it just kind of shows you that. Uh, yeah, it's always been there, um, but with themes, uh, people have always tended to um, create their own panels for the yeah. theme options, whereas yeah. now it's more about getting it into the customizer and doing it there, uh, so okay. it's always in one place, right. which is quite good for when, when you're changing themes as well. Yeah. around the page, whereas Beaver Builder would be got that more for the elements on the page. Things like this, you can always have all the elements change anyway. I've always found them, you can't change one element to change and move it to another. It depends, yeah, it depends on the theme. The theme yeah. like, that, that's the, all of the, all of the, that comes right across from the theme. <laughs> all the menu on the left comes from the theme. Mm -hmm. So the theme will have to change those things. It's not just making a theme that doesn't matter change much. It does the type or something. The good thing about WordPress is people build these plugins and WordPress takes notice and it kind of takes some of the best ideas and puts back into the core. Like you can see here, like what I was just saying with the Beaver Builder, um, you have like fields where you, it's basically this edit shortcut um, is a new feature and uh, when you're previewing a page it gives like a pencil icon next to the element and you can click that, change it, and oh, just oh. preview how it looks on the page. And look, 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 that's the case of the additional CSS field as well. I mean, you can see the changes live the yeah. 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 Uh, Video headers, so you can have a field for a video header. Oh. And that's something that the new feed includes. You see a lot of them. One thing I really like is uh, a smoother process, so um, along with building your menus, you might create some pages, go to the menu section, build your menu, realise you need some more pages, and there might be some back and forth there. With the customizer, not only can you create your menu, but you can create your pages within that section. Is that functionality of the WordPress or is it functionality of the theme? WordPress. Okay, so all the themes now have that. You can add the yes. now and customize yes. oh. it. Yeah, I just installed it last week on my, on my, on my, on my laptop and I'm attacked. Yes, it's, with a lot of the updates, I'll kind of say, yay, we've got a new update and I might just glance over them, but it's not actually until you look into it, like something mm -hmm. like this, that you think, oh, I'm going to do a quick talk about it, that you actually realise there's some really good features mm -hmm. that you might have missed otherwise. Can you remove stuff? Yes, I would have thought so. Right. With WebRest, yeah, you can. Yeah. 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 yeah, there'll be filters and things like that. Yeah. 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 And, like you pointed out earlier, live CSS. Really okay. good. Really good if you want to uh, just check something, see how it works before publishing it. Um, obviously, up to you, depending on what kind of person you are, whether you keep that in there or you then take it out and put it into your files. Obviously, I imagine this is going to be in line. Yeah. Yeah. PDF thumbnail previews. Right. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier to. Look through PDFs. Oh. Is that using Gallery or is that? This is in the media library. Oh, media library. Okay. Yeah. I the PDFs thumbnails what? So there'll be most PDFs that have an image on the front page. Yeah, I spent there. hours creating PDF, an image, a PNG of every sodding PDF. <laughs> 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 Really 
yeah. to um, look at this functionality and perhaps use it on, on the front end for your website as well yeah. if that's possible. Obviously, what people have probably been doing up to now is kind of doing what Simon's saying or, or putting it into some sort of program that pulls up the image and then you upload that separately as a featured image. So, so it's all safe. It'd be though. good if we can get it auto generated. Yeah, really, it's just like a you know, important photograph, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Another uh, feature I quite like is um, throughout the users on your site, you can now, they can now select what language they view your dashboard in. So it's not just only one language that everyone sees it in, but every, if, if someone has a certain language and that's their preferred language, they can set it in the profile and it avoids when they log in. Yeah. And uh, you can add your own languages there, so you can give people a selection to choose from. Yeah, so that's not what it's isn't it? <laughs> um, so then there's kind of just some of the more developer -y kind of features under the hood stuff. Um, so WordPress has now introduced REST API content endpoints. Um, it basically gives you external access to the WordPress site, um, giving you new methods of uh, interacting with it through web themes, plugins, um, apps, and things like that. Um, it's, it's quite funny, it's because the REST API was already introduced, and now it's the endpoints that have been introduced. But um, kind of there was a lot of, uh, well, they weren't sure whether they were going to include it in this release. Um, but what people actually did, the people that were pushing for it, is they created some examples to actually show what it can do. So it's just such things in the back end, so, you know, like you have the quick draft thing on the dashboard, someone created something like that. And replacing it with the API doing the work um, that kind of got pushed through. Um, with that, um, it makes you wonder whether how mature it is, um, because obviously you're, open, you're potentially opening it up to a whole lot of other things as well, um, such as hackers. And I know WordFence is just, uh, I think it's today they introduced a new thing into their firewall blocking hackers and um, you know, botnets and scripts and things like that from actually connecting to it. So it's something worth bearing in mind. If you give your update to 4.7, you might want to ensure that you've got web fence. Is it just as a safety net? Is it not off by default? Do you not have um, to? WordPress have concluded something that, um, for example, people could use this to get a list of users on your website. I think WordPress right. has included something to block that. Yeah. But there's probably some, yeah, exactly. some cases where they haven't quite yeah, exactly. 400% of it. I'm fairly sure it can disable the API, can't you? Yeah, because I imagine a lot of people don't need it. Because the rest of it has been around a long time now, hasn't it? It's been around for two or three years. Yeah, but it was only put into WordPress recently. Right. I don't know how long that was now, but it was only like a few releases back then. It was five or six, yeah. So it makes sort of getting content, if you build an app that you want to support content from WordPress sites, it's a bit easier now because you can use an API to select what content you want to display and stuff. Yeah. 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 And say if you wanted to build an app, we only wanted to use certain features of WordPress. Yeah. It gives you the ability to do things like that as well. Um, quite like this, post site templates. Um, for years now, we've had the ability to do page templates, but now we can do post type templates as well, which gives us a bit more flexi flexibility in the hierarchy. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, yeah. It's quite exciting. It's obviously, what, 15 years, I think, 12 years ago, mm -hmm. that page templates were introduced. So right. And we've, we've got along all right so far. Yeah. But it's good to have a extra bit of flexibility. It'd be nice to play around with that. I like that boy, but it's an adaptive function that kind of switches depending on what they've done. Um, yeah, API goodies, uh, lots of new functions, hooks, and behaviors for theme developers. I'm not going to go through them now. Um, but it's all online if you want to look into it. Um, custom bulk actions, quite exciting. Um, so now, yeah, you can, you can create your own uh, bulk actions as well. Because then I like Stranger Things. 
Settings registration API. Um, this is basically what we want to do with the REST API um, and the visibility around that. What is that electronic view? Um, Why is that reversing back to giving up every option? It must be optional. Mm -hmm. So it might be a good idea to look into some of the, the REST yeah. API stuff around that. And if you do, then I'd be quite interested in looking at it. Um, Customised chain sets, um, so what I was talking about before really, making changes in a customised system, you know, things like all the drafts, um, to say if you're previewing your content, it's doing an auto draft for you, you can go back to it and open it up to save it. Um, it's basically just all around the starter content features basically. And then uh, pretty much last but not least, um, they've changed the way that they do alt text now. Um, so before, um, if you didn't enter alt text, um, it was used a title or something from the image. But now um, they, there's a kind of arguments for both sides of a way to do it, but they've gone ahead and said we're going to make it more accessible to them where it's, if you don't enter something, then nothing gets entered on the front end. Because obviously if, if it's just reading something from the image and it doesn't make any sense, why have it there? My, thought, my initial thought was you should just make the uh, alt text field required because all images should have alt text, but then I guess but it's not true. accessible it's in that sense. If you've got a button, maybe you don't want alt text in it. For a button. Yeah. Or, or maybe if it's something functional rather than the image. Yeah, you wouldn't intend to upload it through the media library. Would oh, you? I suppose, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. And you'd have it as a background image, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they make a requirement because a lot of people haven't got. Big problem, isn't it? I've always used help text, but I've been with it. And actually, with it auto generated, maybe your final name is what they're picking up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I've seen some horrible things going into it. 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 If there is exit data on the image, but sometimes there isn't. Bad file names like do not use and uh, <laughs> draft and things like that, so you end up with some really weird really updates. <laughs> yeah. so how many of you have uh, updated to 4.7? Yeah. It's actually yeah. an ordinary WordPress file. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's five would be a, a really major update. Well, this one does pretty no, it's, it's not. The difference between three and four is huge, really huge. I've got a and the difference is massive. And then again, you know, the difference between two and three. The whole thing just looks completely yeah, different. Yeah, it works really differently. Yeah, it's, it's really, really different. These these are. WordPress two look really yeah. updated. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit uh, It is a major release, but there are quite a few of these major releases as they bring them up. So. Yeah. Mm. Would you recommend updating that that every time it's a major release? Or um, some people wait a few days just to see if there's any problems. Um, yeah, I normally do. I normally wait about a week. Right. There's, there's normally, a, well, the, in the past few major releases, there's been a 0.1 release after about a week of bug and security fixes. When, 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 when did it come out? Yeah. I think it was about four days ago now. Was it Friday? Thursday, Friday? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, a lot of times I've 
update on the site straight away. Obviously, I thoroughly tested it locally first. Um, but yeah, as Adam says, sometimes they do bring out a point one soon after. I mean, this one it seems to be okay. I mean, I haven't heard anything so far. Um, but yes, yeah, for the major releases, it's worth waiting.